this season now. The newest, right? the newest, the newest one? Jay Jones. I haven't seen him. Welcome back in, guys. James Phillips here. It's Media Day 2019, and we're with team number five out of seven. Summit and Christian Eagles are here joining us. Last season, they were one and nine on the year and one and five in Class 2A Region 5. Uh, new head coach taking over is Coach David Powell, who comes in from McAdory High School. Uh, coach Powell, we want to go ahead and let you start. Give some opening statements about the team. Uh, introduce your players, even though you're still getting to know some of them. Uh, and then we'll take questions from the uh, audience. David, <clears throat> really excited to be at, at Summit and Christian. Um, people ask me, you know, how do you like it? You know, what's the difference? And really, all I can say is so far, when you get on the field, I mean, you're just coaching, you're trying to help the players get better. And that's basically our approach. We're trying to get, you know, tougher. We're trying to play harder. We're trying to play smarter. Um, so far, uh, I've really enjoyed my time at Summerton. The players are great. They um, really try to do what you ask them to do. Um, Summerton's a really good school and uh, excited to be here. My pathway here is pretty simple. I spent 36 years at the same school, McAdory. And um, this opportunity came up along with some other opportunities. Uh, and this was a great opportunity for my family and myself. And so um, I wish McAdory nothing but the best. I love my time at McAdory, but I'm excited uh, for this opportunity and looking forward to the season. Um, right now we're just trying to put our, put our schemes in and uh, learn our strengths and improve our deficiencies. And uh, so far, it's been a great summer, and uh, we're looking for a great year. Uh, I got with me uh, receiver DB Braden Harris, number six, and running back, linebacker Jeremy Brown. What number are you wearing? Number 11. <clears throat> and receiver safety J.C. Sheffield, number three. Coach, good afternoon. Welcome to the area. Uh, when you made uh, this jump after being at McAdory so long, um, and I noticed looking very briefly on your record, uh, you only had one losing season your entire head coaching tenure. Uh, you're inheriting a team that uh, they, they worked really hard at it, but only won one game last season. Uh, can you explain some of your philosophy coming in? Um, with this, not only this transition, but specifically with this team? <clears throat> well, I'm definitely not a, a look in the rear view type guy. Uh, I'm just looking out the, out the front windshield here. Uh, what happened in the past, it really has no bearing on me or this team, this team. Uh, I know last year they had some injuries. And when you're a small school with not a lot of players, when you lose a player to injury, it's like losing two or maybe even two and a half if they play all special teams. And so this team endured a lot of hardships last year, but to their credit, they played with a lot of heart and they stuck together. And uh, that's why I know these guys are gonna, gonna put forth a, a good effort this year. And that's what we're asking to, them to do is everybody be at their best. They're, therefore, the team can be their best, but everybody has to be at their best, starting with me. And so um, I'm not real familiar with the, the, the teams that we play yet uh, and that doesn't matter because we can't control that anyway all we can control is us and so that's what we're working on is we're working on Summit and Christian and trying to improve every day Jeremy uh, in consequence for our media day last year things look a lot more loose uh, you all seem to have a lot more enthusiasm around you is that the case am I reading that right that you guys are coming in with a different mindset uh, yeah, I would I would say so because with getting a coach with the um, kind of accolades and the record that he has, you have to, you know, see yourself with maybe having a lot more success. But, I mean, you know, it's only going to be as good as we make it, as good as we get out there and play. Um, so, yeah. Coach, can you name some kids you're going to be counting on this season that aren't here today? I can. Uh, we have a, a, an offensive lineman, defensive lineman, Bo Franklin. Uh, we expect big things out of him. 
Um, he's going to be a senior. Also, another senior is uh, Corbin Hicks. He's a O line, D line as well. Oh, my bad. I said Corbin Hicks. I meant to say Corbin Thomas. I'm still, I'm still learning, uh, learning my name. But um, anyway, Corbin Thomas, uh, O line, D line. Um, and there's several younger guys that uh, we're waiting, waiting to see in action, but we think they have the tools to be really solid players. And uh, along with these seniors, we've got, we got seven or eight strong seniors, and uh, I think their leadership has been really good this summer. And uh, I think all, all, all of our seniors will be huge contributors this year. How, how are the numbers this season? Uh, numbers are about 25 on the varsity, 9 through 12. And uh, we're trying to, to build, build the program back up. And um, we've got uh, middle school workouts going as well. What did you know about some of the Christian football before you came over there? I just knew uh, in years past that they've had some really good teams. Um, looking back the last 20 years, uh, Coach Campbell uh, had some really good years, and Coach Patterson. Um, I know in baseball they're a perennial powerhouse in softball for sure. Basketball has been really good. And so Summerton has a lot of – tradition uh and it's a solid very good school and uh so it's there's a lot of good opportunities there okay. players what gives y'all the hope that y'all can turn this thing around starting this year i'd probably say a big thing is our new coach because we've had a bunch of coaches over the years and i'd say he's probably been you know, he's got, like Jeremy said, the accolades. He just – he performed really well at McAdory, and that gives us a lot of hope. that He'll turn it around. I was uh, going to also mention the coat. Like, having – you know, because I've been varsity um, – starting on varsity for four years, and I've had four varsity coaches. So, I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it's a lot to, you know, change because i got to change every year with my scheme, with, you know, what I'm seeing. So, like – I mean, you do, especially with it being your senior year, you know that, like, this is what I'm getting. And, like, I mean, I'm getting some of the best, you know, for my senior year. So just working with what we get and just playing as hard as we can. Yeah, I agree with them that mainly the coach and then just seeing how everything's going on at practice that we have a chance to be good this year. Coach, um, since you've been in Summerton, have you had – expectations to bounce back next year uh, we, we definitely have expectations to bounce back um, I know the players are you know saying some things about me but this is not about me at 1% this is 100% about these players at Summerton Christian and this football team and I'm just a really small part of this uh, my job is just to try to improve these players uh, and therefore we can have the best team we can have but we're definitely looking to bounce back and uh and put our best foot forward and then it, it, we're not just talking about it i mean we're really going we're, we're going to really push hard to put our best effort on the field okay and coach to the schedule you have two tough road games that i that i looked at you will have decatur heritage and aliceville both on the road how do you how are you planning to win these games? Well, like I said before, we're not at all, you know, going down and looking at each team and trying to dissect what they're doing. We're really trying to dissect what we do and uh make sure that we are doing what we're supposed to do to be the best team we can be. Coach uh Johnny Thornton, I'm from Coleman Sports Page. Uh talk about coming into a new environment and especially the opportunity to play your first game as a head coach of Summerton Christian at Summerton Christian against a school from Coleman County in Hansfield. Uh, it's exciting. Um, we're working, you know, this summer hard, and we're just trying to improve daily. And uh, the the home opener at home is exciting. 
Um, we're looking to, you know, get off to a good start. And um, we're, like I said, worried about us getting better and us performing at the level that we can perform at. That's our main focus um, moving forward. And, Coach, as the team is rebuilding and, and coming off lackluster seasons, how do you feel your 36 years of coaching at one place, what you can pull from all those years to kind of help get that winning attitude and winning tradition back? Well, I mean, the only thing we've done it in the past and presently is, you know, speak the truth. And if, if we see something that's not right or not their best effort, then that's our job to say it like it is and not sugarcoat it. I mean, just be honest. And then the flip side of that is when they're doing the right way, doing things the right way, with great effort, then we point that out too. And so I just feel like the truth, seeing it and calling it like it is, so the players will get a, a, uh, a true sense of where they are and what they need to work on, their deficiencies, uh, is our best pathway to, to build a winning tradition. Um, we, you know, certainly are not just talking about winning. We're just talking about doing the best we can do. And I, if we do that, I feel like we will have chances to, to, to be successful. Braden, Jeremy, JC, what are some of the personal goals that you guys have this year, both on and off the field as it relates to, to the game? Well, before I even, like, say anything about winning games or not winning games, I mean, just seeing on the field that, like, everybody's given 100% because that's an easy thing to see. I mean, you can always tell who's given all they can give and who's not. But, I mean, as far as um, wins and losses go, just to um, to play as well as we can in the area. I would love to get out of there and get into the playoffs because it's been, you know, since freshman year, since we got into the playoffs, I'd love to get back there and um, just to compete with every team we play. Um, I think off the field, we're becoming better men through it, becoming stronger together through it, making a family. And I would like to start with the playoffs and make it as far as we could through there, compete with the really good teams. Yeah, of course, playoffs is always a goal. And then, but really just do as good as we can. But off the field, we've just been getting better every day. So just continue with that. Okay, hey, Coach, can you uh, talk about your assistants you're going to have helping you out this year? Coach Gober uh, was at Summerton last year and did a good job holding it together in the winter and the spring. And he's, he's with us, and we're definitely glad to have him. And also, um, Coach Hudspeth um, is a longtime assistant at McAdory. He also is coming to Summerton, and he's a huge addition for us. And then um, – we have a couple of assistants, volunteer assistants, uh, Coach Moon and Coach Weldon and Coach Yarbrough. And two of those guys, Weldon and Yarbrough, was at Summerton last year. And uh, Moon is uh, a new addition to Summerton, volunteer. Coach, we appreciate you guys being here today. I um, want to wish you luck this season and I uh, hope you guys do improve and I definitely see a lot of excitement around the program um, one more time we've got another sponsor to mention Central Alabama Urgent Care it's located in Dora it's in the shopping center right next to Ken Glover Drugs and it's in the same shopping center as Subway uh, Central Alabama Urgent Care if you're in Jasper Drive 
15, 20 minutes there and save a couple of hours by going in. Uh, they treat everybody like a VIP. I go there and I get in, in and out, and I thought they were treating me special, but actually they said that's how they treat everybody. So call 205-255-7052, Central Alabama Urgent Care. They're always a, a good sponsor for something Christian athletics for sure, but also other teams throughout the county. Uh, be sure to go with all your medical needs to Central Alabama Urgent Care. Uh, we'll be back in a few moments. The next team up will be the Dora Bulldogs. See you guys in just a few minutes.